just out here testing for NEFR at a new test course local to us in Houghton. Uh, we got David Sturks back on the team uh, for this event, which is awesome. Tons of fast guys come to this event, so it should be a good competition. I can't wait to get there and fight. We just arrived for the New England Forest Rally 2015. Uh, it was about a 30 hour drive with eight of us in the rig. We got Dave's car here that's being kept under wraps. Uh, that's custom, very expensive. All that leopard skin was hand carved to perfection. I'm happy with it, so uh, we'll see what he thinks when he gets here. Here at Park Expose for the start of uh, New England Forest Rally 2015. Super, super stoked for this event. Tons of fast guys here. And we got Ken Block back, we got Travis Estrana here, Ramanan R5 M Sport car. Can't wait for the competition. We're just gonna go out and push like and see what we can do. On the road around the barrel. 100. Left four across 30. Easy right line. 70. Keep right over crest. Easy left plus line. Don't cut. And fast right in over crest. Fast right in over crest. Again. Just got done with Conquer Pond for stage. Back here at service now. Good start to the rally. Uh, haven't checked tickets times yet, but we were five seconds slower than Travis and four seconds slower than, than Ken, so pretty good for us. Go, we have two more today, and then we finish up, and uh, yeah, hopefully be in a good position to fight all day tomorrow too. Everything was perfect, everything was going the way I wanted, and then it started to get dusty, so I don't think we lost that much time. The only thing is like it's really sketchy, and we I'm like guessing where the, the, the road is, but I mean, at that speed, it's not really comfortable. Frustrating because we had a really good pace and a really good rhythm and uh, for the rest of the day the plan is pretty simple, it's going to be full attack, <laughs> there's not all, nothing else to know. Should we do a little snooping or? There's some significance to 75, that must be how much boost they're running. We just had our first service of the day, 60 minute service, we're done in about 10 minutes so we're going to do a little spot. Just a little look around. No harm in that. Yeah, it looks like there's wrenches and tools. There's tools everywhere. This guy's got a broom here. He's sweeping some.
don't really need any, just toss a little in there. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> or I just wanted to stop and get out of the car. <laughs> Missed you guys. Not sure what we did on this last one, but no problems. The big impact on the first one, I uh, went right in the corner and hit a rock, but the car seems good. Hit it with the tire, and the Hoosier tire seems fantastic, so thumbs up for them. So yeah, you know, pretty happy with the pace, pretty happy overall where we're at. Um, yeah, you know, sitting in third, I think, and so we'll keep on pushing tomorrow and be on that podium. So here we're ready to stop the, uh, day two, and uh, it's completely different condition, and I want on the drain, the rain is there, so today is gonna be a, a good day, it's another day, so. We'll see, you know, if it's really tricky out there, we'll back off and maintain our podium, but if there's the opportunity to push, we'll, we'll push on. Morning to day two. Uh, okay, I feel a little better now, that helps. Cars were locked up all night, we have a quick 40 minute service this morning, and uh, we're going to be sending Adam to the, uh, the old second place position. First service on Saturday here for NEFR. Uh, yeah, tricky stages. A lot of rain overnight this morning, and so they're really slippery. You know, we're pretty safely in third, so unfortunately, we're just going to back off a little bit and protect our position. I'm hoping this next loop of stages will be a little drier, the surface is a little better, and if it's good, we'll go on and push. But you know, third here is great with all the fast guys here, so we really want to protect that. It's kind of a bummer because we don't get to push as hard, but you know, hopefully, we'll have some fun stages still left today. Give up. this caffeine gum. <laughs> Woo! Chava gum. That would have been awesome if I got it right to the back of the neck. No, let's do a muffin, please. Back up. Come on, man. Hold on, hold on. That's a huge fucking breakfast sandwich. Uh, we're just getting ready for the second service of the day and uh, we're just eating lunch. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm done. I'm done. Oh my god. I'm done. I'm done. No, no. Oh, I just got back in from the second loop. Things went well. A little harder to push, but really not going 100% still. Um, 
setting an okay time, so, uh, Ken had a little off, so I'm not quite sure where we are place-wise now, but, uh, second or third, I assume, so that's a pretty good result for this race so far. Try to get to the finish line. Cool. What's going on here? We are getting some fuel. Then we go to some more stages. Well, they, they found the issue that we had for, for the, the boost that we were missing. Uh, it's the cat that was plugged. Okay, we're going for it. Next step. Now we have several speakers from different walks of life. Right for minus opens, we added the minus. 30 left, 3 plus. 50, 30 left, 3 plus. We're good, we're good, we're good. Keep going, keep it going. Something's broken. What is that? Can you reverse? No. no. Okay, going off. So we're coming out of a fairly fast right hand corner. Um, you know, it seemed like the car was okay, but then had to snap it oversteer. And then right away, something happened. It started to understeer off the road and it was out of our control. Jordan and I tried to fix the car. You know, we, we had the car jacked up, trying to put it together. But, you know, everything is so hot. You know, we're six or seven miles into a stage at that point, And, you know, the damage was too bad. We just kept make, breaking straps. And so we just had to call it a day. That, unfortunately, is just the nature of the sport. You know, one second things can be going swimmingly, you know, you're having a blast. And the next second, some small mechanical DNF and, and just out of nowhere, things change in an instant. We got pretty lucky. There was a nice sandy kind of bank and nice soft trees, so no real damage with the car, but, you know, just a really crappy, unfortunate DNF. So really, you know, we, we came out of New England and it sucks that we had the DNF. Uh, you know, we were solidly in second when it happened. It was Higgins in front of us, and we were in second, and Ken right behind us in third. We were setting competitive times, you know, we were right there a few seconds off with the fast guys. Uh, and it's just, you know, that's what we've been looking for all year. We've been looking for that pace. Those guys are still a little bit out of our reach, but every rally, you know, it's the gap is getting smaller, and that's all we can hope to do. So for NEFR, we had uh, teammate David Sturtz back with us, and uh, he kind of had an up and down rally. You know, he had some some punctures, uh, you know, had a little bit of an off, had some stalls. When he was going well, he was going good, you know, nice competitive stage time. Sen and I were trading seconds back and forth, uh, but, you know, unfortunately the rally just didn't end up the way we hoped for him. <laughs> so we're back here in Houghton a couple weeks out of NEFR. You know, we're looking forward to going to Ojibwe. Uh, we're going to test a few upgrade parts a little week or so before the rally to see if we can uh, get a little more speed and help with the suspension geometry, but I can't wait to get to the next rally though. Get to a Ojibwe, be able to fight hard, be competitive, and hopefully get a little redemption after unfortunate NEFR. Adam said it's time. Yeah, it's time. brought me out for this? What's all the hype about? I'm done.